Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fairy Talk. I am Nick. I want to get down to it right to the nitty gritty today because I do have a lot to mention. Uh, last week, uh, a bunch of YouTube woodworkers got together and did a kitchen utensil challenge. And just as further clarification, it's not necessarily you have to do a video on it. That's not the challenge. There are no prizes or anything like that. But more or less with these challenges, it's about challenging anyone that's viewing any of the videos to go out and, and at least have a specific task in mind. Um, this particular one being a kitchen utensil and I mean basically you can pretty much make anything kitchen related but uh, definitely went over real well. I made a, a spoon over on a router jig. The router jig was something I wanted to put together for quite some time, uh, at least a few years I had the idea. And this was the perfect opportunity for me to actually get off my butt and finally make the darn thing. And I think it turned out pretty nice. Uh, a friend of mine, Ted Alexander, uh, I've mentioned on the show before, he gave me a couple ideas because I wanted uh, to utilize that jig in other ways just than to dish out a spoon. I mean, I could cut little, little slots in here and then I could call it a salad fork. But um, that, you know, I wanted to do more than just dishing out either a spoon or a fork. And I had a couple ideas, they weren't you know, home run ideas, but he gave me um, a couple, at least one, that to me I think is just going to be a really awesome idea. It'll be a month or two before I get around to altering the jig slightly to see if, uh, see if the idea works, but it should be pretty awesome. So if you haven't seen uh, the playlist for that, definitely check out, uh, I think it was hashtag utensil 2015 hashtag utensil 2015 I, I don't know the hashtags pound signs beyond me I guess I'm uh, socially illiterate to a certain extent <laughs> but anyways I gotta refer back to my list as I often do but <clears throat> oh here's a here's a good one that I um uh if you guys haven't seen my first I think it was my first very first video I'll leave a, um, a little thing right there. It was a, a bird feeder that my son and my father and myself had done. And it was just that whole, in the efforts of getting my children to help out in the wood shop. And I had built a very, very similar project with my dad. Uh, gosh, that's got to be like 23 years ago-ish. I like that ish now. I got that from Cremona. But anyways... I just wanted that that whole that family thing, and let me know in the comment section if you guys if that's part of your woodworking, if that the sentimentality to it, the the family bringing it together. Uh, I have two young boys, and I just think that's an awesome way to uh, just kind of build some memories. You know, build something out of wood and then build some memories. I, maybe that's a T-shirt, but either way. But that brought up my my other question. I'm going to be doing a project this summer with my youngest boy. That was my oldest boy, and I think he was four at the time, and my youngest boy will be four halfway through the summer. So I might do uh, another project with him, and you guys can also weigh in on that. What's a, what's a good kid's project? And that was what I wanted to bring up for my next point. I was debating uh, my oldest boy, who's now five, wanted to get into the woodworking uh, I don't know at what capacity he's five. You know they have they have more ADD than me. Oh look, something shiny. Um, oh okay, I guess I have ADD too. Um, <laughs> but I was thinking I don't own a scroll saw, and I've used a scroll saw in the past, not in any great length, but I figured a scroll saw was a good uh, woodworking tool to uh, have a young one, a, a completely supervised. But to get to start teaching them, uh, you know, because I, I would figure a table saw has got to be a lot more dangerous. And a scroll saw, you know, I, I, would, I would assume that if it hurts, then you stop pushing your finger through the blade. I, I figure a five-year-old could get that, but I would be right over his shoulder. What do you guys think about that? What do you think of the, uh, a jigsaw, or, see a jigsaw? I, I often interchange those two, and I, I understand them to be very different, not like a handheld. We used to call them saber saws. But anyways, a scroll saw. And maybe what, what's a good beginner model? I was looking uh, at a couple different ones. I don't want to spend a whole lot of money, but I think that would be a good kids item. So um, I just I guess I'll move along on my list because I could probably go on and on about that. Uh, I, oh, I wanted to mention another woodworker that is pretty new on YouTube, and his name is Timothy Babb. 
And I will uh, leave a link in the description to his channel. He's only got a couple videos out as of right now, but I've been talking to him for a little bit, and he is a phenomenal woodworker. He's definitely got the skills for the woodworking, and he's slowly getting into the whole video realm of things, and I think he's finding it to be uh, fairly fun. So if you haven't checked out Tim's channel, definitely check it out and uh, let him know I sent you over there. And uh, he's got some really cool stuff, and, and I've been talking with him, and he's got a lot of really cool things that he's going to be building this spring and summer. Uh, he just had a, a baby girl, and so there's, there's all sorts of uh, kids' projects and, you know, cribs and bassinets and all that, as you guys know. But um, let's see here. What, oh, I had uh, uh, the Craig jig. I, I didn't want to talk too much about it because these, these videos, you know, they're, they can get, um, I wouldn't say old, but if you watch this in a year, it's still pertinent. You can still go to my website. But uh, I just announced, I think it was this past Sunday, that Craig Tools is giving away a Craig K5 jig, and all that information can be found at nickferry.com on my website, and it's free to enter, so just go check out the website, and you can get all that information. That was really cool. It's, it's like 130 140 bucks, so um, you can enter a chance to win that. So, um, Oh, and then, uh, like I said, I, I kind of didn't, didn't want to keep this video going too long because I had a lot on my list, and I, I think I got to everything, but the... Um, the drill press table, I wanted to uh, get to that, but I don't think I'll get to that this week because I kind of wanted to show more video footage of installing that and assembling like the four parts there are to assemble for that. So that is all I have for you for this week. You guys have a good one, and until I see you next time, <laughs> take care.